What's up? I'm back. Now I'm going to film the intro for the eye joists, the rim board, and all the metal connector nails. So uh, behind me, Adam and I got uh, most of the TJI. I think all the TJI is set yesterday. Um, it's a little tricky because, of course, the old wall of the house was in and out a little bit. So uh, lots of measuring because I ordered the exact amount of TJIs I needed with today's lumber prices. Didn't want to go over. So uh, let's walk around, I'll talk about a couple things and then we'll jump into detail on um, detailing out the TJIs, the rim board and getting ready to set the actual floor. So our rim board is, uh, I think, like an inch and three sixteenths by technicalities, uh, inch and a quarter, somewhere like that. So what we did is we snapped the line on this guy at an inch and a quarter, and then um, we would lay out our 16s. So we pulled 16 from this first one so that we get a nice plywood seam at eight feet here. Uh, and then what we did <coughs> is we transferred our layout back to the back wall so that we stay nice and square. And then yesterday I ran the back wall and Adam ran the foundation wall and we would pull one measurement, cut and fit it. All of these are tacked in right now so they have uh, a 16 toenailed in from the underside and a 16 toenailed in from the top side. And then today we'll detail them out with the metal connector gun and the metal connectors. Um, so I'm gonna jump into that. Adam's gonna start in on rim board. So he's gonna run the rim board uh, from this side of that ledger board out and down. We've got enough scrap here to do um, our bracing this way. And then uh, the rim board detail is pretty simple. It's just gonna be uh, two 16s, because that's the code. One in the top and one in the bottom. Pretty simple. We're not going to worry about any type of air sealing here, because we'll run a bead of air sealing on this, and then when we stand our wall up, our sheeting will actually run long, and our sheeting will lap down onto the sill plate, and we'll get our air seal underneath and on top. So this will all be nice and tight. That should be it. I'm gonna jump in the hole with the metal connector gun and we'll discuss those next. Alrighty, Mr. Pass Load, metal connector nailer, and these are our hangers. Uh, this is for a side mount. They also have top mount that you can hang from here, but I don't like how that kind of buckles the subfloor at the end. This will keep everything nice and true. So uh, five nails to each side, one down here in the uh, bottom flange, that should do it. So I'm gonna start chasing these guys out. And Adam over here is working on the rim board. So these guys get uh, a 16 in the top and bottom on the flange. And then all he's got is a 12 inch framing square so that he can pull the the joist nice and plumb from the uh, the sill plate there. So he'll probably have these done well before I have my stuff done. But that is an engineered floor system at its core. Pretty simple, but I just love how, you know, these are 11, the rim board is 11 and 7 eighths. The joist is 11 and 7 eighths. The ledger is 11 and 7 eighths, so everything is just super nice. There's no variation in any of these. This floor is absolutely perfectly flat from one end to the other. So we're gonna get this rim board on. I'm gonna get all those metal connectors in and we'll jump into the next step. So I'm running through first and uh, just getting these set in place. We've got a nice little tab at the top of each side that you can tack. Um, so I got a whole bunch of them on, and then I'll go back and fill in, fill in all the nails.
So at this end of the foundation, um, the wall in this corner dips just a little bit. You can see there. So uh, what we did is uh, just crammed a big fat bead of PL Premium in there. And that could help to kind of seal up that gap a little bit. So um, it's probably about a quarter inch that this very corner out here is low and by like the second or third joist back it's back to zero so put a nice big big roll on there and then uh, we'll finish setting this rim board we'll have to do the same thing coming this way just a little bit um, so that this rim board also sits um, nice and tight so that'll make a nice connection between the sill and the rim all right there we have it there is the structure of the floor so that'll wrap up all of the metal connecting uh, to the house uh, in the last video we talked about that ledger so that's all that and the rim board is all finished up so we've got uh, <coughs> these guys are set at four feet and we'll probably chat a little bit about these in the next video as well but they're basically on our subfloor uh, long lines so that we can split the subfloor here. Uh, other than that, everything is ready to go for subfloor. So we're gonna shut this video down and get going on the next one. So thanks for watching this one. Uh, glad we got that wrapped up. We're a couple hours into it. I'm hoping that we can have the uh, deck put on it today as well. So stay tuned for the next video. We'll talk about our process of putting the actual subfloor sheets on and uh, wrapping up the floor system. So like, comment, subscribe down below. We'll see you guys in the next one.